Welcome to an open VSP tutorial from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. We've had a number of tutorials on how to make wings. And in the last tutorial on surfaces, we also talked about an alternative way of dealing with things like ailerons and rudders and elevators. And that's to make two wings where the aileron or rudder or elevator is its own separate wing just trailing right behind your main wing or vertical stabilizer or horizontal stabilizer. But there's another thing we can do and that's if we're getting close to manufacturing where we want to use our files to make templates or to run on a CNC. And that is to export our one piece instead of two pieces and then cut it apart in a CAD program. In order to do that though, we need to export our wing or rudder or elevator and then import it into CAD. So what we're going to talk about in this tutorial is exporting out of OpenVSP and then into a CAD program. In this case, the CAD program we are going to use is Fusion 360. Well, let's go ahead and export what we have here. Now, in this case, I'm using the UWS-1 tail as an example. For the UWS-1 tail, it's all one piece, where the horizontal is all one piece, and then the two verticals are each their own piece, and it's all together. Let's get started on the export. We come up to the File menu, select File, come down, select Export. And this is going to pop up our export dialog and we have a number of file formats that we can use. Now in previous videos I had used the IGES format and that is because I was able to import it into FreeCAD fairly easily. FreeCAD had a little trouble with other formats but with Fusion 360 we have another option and that's a more modern option and that's using the STEP format. Now step format is more modern. It contains more information to help the CAD program figure out what it's supposed to be representing. And so that's what we're going to use here. So we are going to pick the step format. So click on that. It wants to know what our unit lengths are. Now I've been using inches recently, so let's make sure we each say inches and that information will be included in the step file. So that whoever imports it knows that our units are in inches. Our tolerance is micro inches, which is plenty good. That's more than enough. Split surfaces, I'm going to turn that off. It'll actually try to make extra faces out of where we have these rudder lines. Now, I don't have a real accurate way of placing those. So I'm going to wait until I get into the CAD program to place those. I don't want to split out my subsurfaces. I'll deal with that in CAD. I want to keep the trailing edge surfaces as I have them. I'm not going to bother to uh, convert to cubic. The natural format's just fine. And I'm going to leave these surface names alone. I might find some other use for them in the future. For example, if we do some computational fluid dynamics. And common delimiter is fine. So we're going to click OK. And it wants to know where to put it. I'm going to put it on my desktop and then I'll transfer it over to a thumb drive. And in a moment, I'll see you over on a Windows machine where we have Fusion 360 running. We're now over on the Windows 10 machine running Fusion 360. First thing we need to do is have a project put our little import into. If you pop up like this and you don't have any navigation over here on the left hand side for projects, come up here to the upper left hand corner. You'll see this pop up that says show data panel. Click on that. If you click the little home, you'll see all your projects. I want to use the default project for now. So I double clicked on that. Now I want to hit the upload button. It'll pop up a little pop-up to select the file, so I click on Select File. I go down to my thumb drive, and I am going to pick Tutorial Tail CAD. And we tell it to upload. Now you'll see status here. There it's uploading. The extension is .stp, so you know it's a step file. It gets to about 50%, and then it pauses, and then it jumps up to 100% pretty quick. Now we're done, we'll hit the close button. Now, it did not show our tail. And I'm not sure why that is yet, but if you come up here and double click on this, it'll pop it up. There it is. Now we have a little bit of an issue. OpenVSP exports these surfaces, not a solid. 
Now, for my purposes, what I want to do is turn it into a solid. Now, if you were only dealing with skins, then a surface might be all right. You could do an extrusion or a thickening of the skin. But I want to do a little bit something different. Particularly, I want to cut out my rudders so I can work on the rudders by themselves. And if you try to do a cut on a surface, it does some very odd things. And I'm not even going to bother to show it to you. <laughs> if you want to find out, go ahead and do a cut on a surface on your own and use a plane and you'll get this great big circle on the plane. But I want to turn this into a solid. Let's come up to surface, click on surface up here. We're going to click on stitch. And then over here, we're going to select what we want to stitch. And I want to select the right half and it'll say one selected. And then I click on the left half and then it'll say two selected. And then it's got tolerances like it's uh, going to stitch anything that's closer together than four thousandths of an inch. That's perfectly fine. The only place to really stitch things together is right here in the middle because OpenVSP exports these as two separate parts. We're going to tell it to create a new body. If your free edges and edges to be stitched don't match, in this case we've got eight, you probably have a problem. You'll have to look into that. But what we're going to do is click on OK, and it's going to do a little processing. And now it's got this really shiny look, and it changed the colors. But now it's a solid. And for this point, you can do all kinds of solid operations on it. Now the solid operation I'm going to do is to cut out my rudders. Fusion 360 has an interesting way to do some cuts with a profile that I haven't seen on some of the other CAD programs. They may have it, but I haven't seen it yet. We're going to use this profile to do some cutting. And it's pretty neat. In order to create a profile, we have to have a sketch. And I'm going to have my sketch be right here on this middle plane, the XZ plane. And to get that, I'm going to come up here and expand origin. And I'm going to select XZ. Actually, I'm just going to mouse over it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to select create sketch. So now we have a sketch. And we're going to draw the profile that we want to use to cut the rudder out. Let me get this uh, organized here. There we go. So we're in sketch mode now. What we have up here has changed. I'm going to create a line. I want this first line to be horizontal. I'm going to start up here at the top. I want this first line to be horizontal because the top of my rudder is horizontal, at least in our XYZ coordinate system. So I'm going to come out here. I'm going to click the second one about where I think the hinge line is going to be. And you'll see this right here, meaning that we have a horizontal line. It's a constraint. I'm going to come down to where the bottom is. Now I designed this rudder so that the hinge line and the bottom of the rudder or 90 degree angle. So this angle here, I'm going to make 90 degrees. So there's 90 degrees. And now I'm going to end it. And it's going to be kind of hard to see, but down in here it says we have 90 degrees. So I don't have to do that myself now. It added that constraint automatically as I was drawing it, as long as I oriented everything the right way. But now we have to get the exact coordinates for this. The way we're going to do that is we're going to come up here and we're going to create a dimension in our sketch. I'm going to select this horizontal line. I'm going to come down to the origin. I did not realize it when I was doing the recording, but I somehow managed to cut off the bottom edge of the display. So in this video, whenever I say I'm going to go down and select the origin, here's what it looks like. Well, let's continue. Hold down the control key, select the origin. Now I'm going to move out here and it wants to know what the distance is between the top of our rudder. Actually, this is going to be the top of the opening and our origin. So what we need to bring up is our old data sheet where I did all the calculations that came up with the hinge line and the top and the bottom coordinates. So we're coming up to this column here, which is the opening hinge coordinates to use. Let's go to the top. So over here is the top calculation. So I want the Z, which is the height, the up down axis. I'm going to select that, control C, come back here. Now I'm going to highlight that value, do a paste, boom. So now the very top of that opening for the rudder is in the right place, except 
the hinge line here at the leading edge is not quite right. So we need a distance from this line to this axis. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create another dimension. We're still in dimension mode here. So let's select that point, come down here to origin, hold down control, select that point, come up like this, and it wants to know what that distance is gonna be. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. So in the X direction, which is the dimension we're coming up with, for the top opening, we select this value, come back, select that 39, do a paste, control V, hit return, boom. So this point is exactly right now. And this line is horizontal, so it's exactly right. Let's work on this coordinate down here now. So basically doing the same thing, we're still in dimension mode. I think we'll do the uh, height first. Let's go ahead and select that coordinate, hold down control, hit the origin, slide over here, go back to our spreadsheet. Now we're doing the bottom, which is this area up here, and we are doing height again, so that's gonna be Z, so we select that value. Come back here, paste it in. So we now have the correct height for this. Now let's get the correct X value. Select the point again, select the origin, drag this up, come back to our spreadsheet. Now we're doing the bottom and we wanna know the X. So let's select that, copy it, come back here, select this, paste it with control V, hit return, boom. So now this point is in the correct spot this is 90 degrees, which means this line is now correct. And if you remember back to some of the rudder videos for rudder sizing, I wanted this line to be just above where this open VSP line was for this section because I didn't want it crossing over because FreeCAD was giving me some troubles. I could probably drop it down a little bit, but there's no sense in that. That looks great. And I wanted this horizontal line up here to be just a little bit below that section, and it still is. So. That's correct. Let's go ahead and finish our sketch, clicking up here in the right-hand corner. And let's rotate this around and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and the middle button and we can rotate it around. So now you can see this profile on that XZ plane. I wanna use this to cut the rudder out. So let's do that. Let's come back to the solid selections. Let's come down to modify and do split body. And again, up here in the upper right hand corner, it wants to know what body to split. So let's just select that. That selects the whole thing because we made it a solid and stitched it all together. Now it wants to know what splitting tool. So I select on splitting tools. Now I'm going to click on that profile. It is now made in red where it's going to do the cutting. It's extended that profile perpendicular to our sketch plane. So let's take a quick look at that. We'll kind of rotate around so you can see where it is. All right, let's tell it to go ahead and do it. We click the OK button. Boom. Now if you come over here under bodies, I should have shown this to you before. We had one body before. We now have three bodies. So there's the right rudder. There's everything else except for the left rudder right here. So let's go ahead and hide everything else and let's hide the left rudder. And all we have left is the right rudder. Now this is the aft part of the rudder from the hinge line here, aft. It also includes the gap, so if I really wanted to use this, I have to cut a quarter inch off the top and a quarter inch the bottom and that would really be the rudder. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to import an open VSP file into Fusion 360. And it's pretty darn easy to do cutting on it too, at least the cuts that I did. Now, if I wanted to work on this a little more and make it into a real rudder, I'd have to do some more sketching. I'd do a sketch on the top, make a portion of an ellipse up here to make an elliptical nose, and I'd do the same thing on the bottom, make an elliptical nose down here. Then I would make some faces to fill that in, and then I would turn it into a solid. Then we'd have an entire rudder ready to be made. Well, that's it for this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it useful. Until next time.